Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, currently I've been seeing around people stuff, people doing their 24 reads for 2024. Plus, I've also been seeing people do like reviewing their like 23 reads for 2023. Now, I hadn't fully got back into reading by that point. I was still reading quite like slow, um, which obviously if that's you, fine. Personally for me, I've always been a big reader. I was back in secondary school. GCSEs kind of stopped that. Anyway, I wanted to join in with the 24 reads for 2024. I have 24 on this list. Originally, I accidentally duplicated um, a book. Luckily, I noticed it before today. You can't see it, but I currently have a massive stack of books next to me. I'm not going to show you the titles. How far do I have to go? There we go. You can start to see. Um, where can you see up to? Um, okay, technically you can see part of this one. I have one, two, three. I have seven books above this. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd film from here because recently I've been filming a lot from like my bed on my floor. So I kind of figured kind of due for a desk scene let's move you back a little bit anyway currently have the list in front of me just because there's a couple where i don't own them yet one of them i know i'm getting for christmas just because i was literally in the shop with my mum when she bought it um and there's what there's, i think there's one Technically two where they're not out yet. One of them just, it's not out in paperback yet. Um, so I'm waiting for that. And another is quite literally just not out at all. Um, so yeah, I feel like I need to start. So we're starting off with a book that I don't own yet. And it is a ballad, The Ballad of Never After, which is by Stephanie Garber. It's the second book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I'm currently in the middle of reading that book. That book won't be a five stars to me. Um, don't know what my end up, I don't know what I'll end up rating it, but I know that so many people have said the second one is so much better and I want to stick with the series just because I do, like I'm interested in the characters. I think at the point I'm at, last time I picked it up, I only read like 30 pages and I think I've just read, I think I'm just at a point where it's like slow and so it's just, Take me a moment. Second book is A Court of Thorns and Roses, aka the first in the Akatar series. So many people recommend this. Throne of Glass, literally Throne of Glass. I only own the first one. I read it ages ago. I intend to do a reread just because it has literally been close to a decade since I read it. Quite literally close to a decade. Um, so yeah. Akatar, some people prefer Throne of Glass, some people prefer Akatar better and I've just heard so much stuff about it and I'm slowly getting back into fantasy. It was definitely a primary school thing where I was big into fantasy and start of secondary school to be fair because end of primary I read The Inheritance Cycle like series by Christopher Paolini. I, there is a book on here, I'm going to class this as an honourable mention but I really want to read Murtagh. It has not long come out in hardback in at the start of December, end of November, it will come out in paperback. So honourable mention, really want to buy that. But I need to reread the inheritance cycle to get myself back into the world and get myself used to stuff so that when I go into read Murtagh, some stuff isn't a surprise and I'm better into the world that makes sense because again it has quite literally been over a decade and you're probably thinking oh my god stop saying a decade but honestly I read it in year six I am practically 22 at this point I'm still 21 but I'm practically 22 um and I'm probably going to be 22 at the point when this video is uploaded Anyway, so it's been a decade and it's been properly a decade. And then Harry Potter was like right at the start of like secondary school, so like year seven, year eight. Currently in the middle of a reread of Harry Potter. It's a slow reread though. 
because the first couple of books are like shorter and then you just get to the chunks yeah i've heard so many things about akita um and i'm really excited to pick it up i think i'm just overwhelmed with the amount of books that i've got that so many people enjoyed then the next book is the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes did not need to read which author that last one was probably didn't with this one this is about i love how i can even describe that there's just something to do with wolves and there's a love story anyway this is about a girl who inherits a large fortune um despite the fact that this person had children and basically she moves in and they have to play these kind of like type of games to find out why she's got this fortune if i'm if i know correctly it's part of a trilogy but then there's like a spin-off following two of the brothers um yeah so there's three it's a trilogy plus then you've got the brothers hawthorne which is like this spin-off type thing um really excited heard the good stuff about it i'm trying to not speak about stuff too much next book fourth wing and yes this is the paperback version oh don't worry it's easy to um get a hold of i promise you and like this is large like let me grab a guitar just because it was easy to read reach you see um what this is it's classed as a trade paperback anyway obviously this has been a whirlwind this year yeah so many people rave about fourth wing i know it's pe some people like it some people don't some people are like it's quite like a simple plot line i think and i feel like some people have said like iron flame which is the sequel has tried to do the same thing where they've gone back to being like enemies um it might not be that book but it definitely is um something that's come out this year yeah really intend to read fourth wing dragons and the inheritance cycle by chris Her inheritance cycle by christopher paolini was all to do with like dragons dragon riders i know this and um, there's like dragon riders um so yeah it could be like nostalgic for me next book is magnolia parks by jessa hastings heard so many heard so many great things about it from like rachel soph loves it i think i want to say georgia loves it as well destiny loves it i think sarah loves it so i i ordered this off of amazon i know i could get the other version so much cheaper but i just unpopular opinion potentially however i have heard um i think it's ali i think i've heard her say it i think that's her name um where she was like she prefers this cover as well um and i just there's something about it it could just be it was the first cover i was introduced to the other covers they remind me of gossip girl which i know this is supposed to be a little bit like gossip girl um because it's like rich kids in my opinion the other covers just look slightly tacky i know don't hate me and i know there's like a fifth book coming out that's in this world it's not the magnolia parks it's like in the no it's the final magnolia parks one there's more on like the daisy hates part um because i know there's like a companion like series um yeah i just i prefer these ones the other ones look just look a bit tacky i know unpopular potentially next book on my list is ready player one by ernest klein i know look at me going into sci-fi this is to do with a video game like where there's like a hidden like key oh i think it's to like inherit the like system that the game is built in from what i remember reading of the blurb i'm not going to read it all again and i've just heard great things about it it's quite nice because it feels i was about to say it feels fairly short but it's still like 372 it's 372 pages but some reason it feels it doesn't feel like an almost 400 page book maybe the paper's thinner anyway 
heard many great things about it i know it's made into a movie and you know what i just kind of wanted to expand my horizons i got this at 66 books which i'm hoping my haul is up by this point <laughs> i'm like midway through like editing it and i still have to finish editing my wheel spinner time thing next book on my list is these violent delights which is by is it chloe gong something along those lines i don't own this book it's on my christmas list and i did highlight highlight it being like i want this one as like a higher want so i'm more likely to get it but if i don't i know that i get some like christmas and birthday money um so i could always buy it if i really wanted to um but i've got so many books on here that it could always like wait slightly then the next book on this list is caraval by stephanie garber this is in the same like universe as once upon a broken heart which i do actually have easily accessible because i'm filming another video at this point still my 24 hours um reading for 24 hours video anyway is in the same like universe so like once upon a broken heart is technically like a companion novel from what i know of caraval it kind of explores the origin of the fates a little bit more and it's to do with like a circus that's kind of all i know but so many people enjoy it and it sounds fun next book on this list is ninth house i've heard great things i know that some part of it is a little bit a little bit messed up from what i know from what i've heard i can't remember exactly what it is you'll need to read the trigger warnings i don't because i don't have anything that like triggers me at least not that i've come across um this is like dark academia it's set in yale yes yale and it's just it follows like secret like societies yes secret societies oh my god i am amazing i'm magical i've heard great things i know so many people enjoy it honestly i think i'm just overwhelmed with the amount of books that i own the next book on my list is shatter me i don't own this book i will do by christmas um or have at this point when you see this video have many great things i know it's a dystopian that's kind of what i know i just know it's highly rated i've got the five pack series from the works i know there's novellas i can buy the novellas on their own though so yeah, obviously like if i enjoy the first one i will have to buy the novellas the next book on my list is my roommate is a vampire literally as it says in the title this man um puts up his room for rent like a room in his house for rented at an affordable rate he is a bit odd because he does business at night um and basically she discovers that he's like a vampire and there's like a whole like romance kind of sub plot then the next book on my list is assistant to the villain literally villain puts out an ad for an assistant and someone who needs the money answers his request and goes to work as as his assistant and then someone goes after him he's in danger and it's trying to find out who in this like company is telling these secrets and exposing him basically and it just sounds like a good read it came up on my facebook first and i saw like i think i actually screenshotted it if i have the screenshot i will put it up here um where it was literally putting all like the different like points of it and i looked at it and thought that sounds so good went into asda the next time i went and it was there and it was like this is fake so um i got it next book on my list is you said i was your favorite and basically it's to do with like the shy girl and this popular boy who gets sent to work in the headmaster's office and just bumps into her every single day and they get to know each other and he becomes obsessed like they're in different they run in like different circles and it just last line is it says and i'm going to make miss daisy mine sounds like it's gonna be like a obsessed stalkerish type like it's gonna sound endearing to start with and then he's going to go over the top and it just sounds good it does next book oh i don't have and it is reckless by lauren roberts this is the second book in the powerless series and i rated that book five stars 
now reckless is coming out in july and i will be buying it when it comes out i hope that the wax has it sooner so i can get it for a fiver but if not i will be getting it from waterstones that month loved powerless i know people are like oh it's like a lot like the hunger games which obviously it is i've never read the hunger games it's so weird to say the hunger games don't excite me for me the hunger games is like dystopian whereas i don't know whereas um powerless is a little bit more like medieval a little bit like it just gives me more like yeah it just giving gives it's just giving me a little bit more medieval vibes but is it weird to say like contemporary medieval like it's definitely obviously medieval that's i think why there's still the distinction because obviously one's like dystopian one's like old time next book on my list is one that loads of people have loved it's the first book in a series and it is flawless by elsie silva and yes i did get this get this in a three for six so many people love this which one is it okay so this follows summer and Rhett. um this is like a cowboy's small town small town romance yeah there's kind of not much more i can say there's just a pile growing on my bed next book on my list is things we never got over by lucy score i obviously the knock em out series the third one came out this year people loved it this is a chunky book and i know that the third book is the chunkiest at like 600 or is it 700 like this is almost 500 pages I know that these are chunky. This follows Knox and Naomi. Highly recommended. I know that some people prefer the other books um, rather than this one. I really wanted to get into it. The next book on my list is Heartstopper. This only hardback in this list actually. The only reason I bought it in hardback is because this hardback version is beautiful. This is to do with a boy meets boy, boy become friends, and they fall in love. That is quite literally what it says on the back. This is the first... I've never read a book in this style. So, like, this is the first, like, page. I've never read a book like this. I think it's classed as a graphic novel. Hopefully it would be a quick read. Then the next book on my list is Divine Rivals. This book is currently only out in hardback. I know that Ruthless Vows, which is the second book, has just come out. I'm a paperback person. I know I got Heartstopper in hardback. That's just because that was such a beautiful cover. And I also have Wuthering Heights in hardback. It's the only classic book I own. Actually, no, I lie. I have Jane Eyre. Is it Jane Eyre? No, I have Pride and Prejudice. Is it Pride and Prejudice? At home. Or is it Jane Eyre? I can't remember. I have another classic book at home. Like, at my family home. Divine Rivals. I know it's to do with twins. And a, is it, no, not... Is it twins? There's, like, a typewriter involved. I know it's fantasy. Then the next book on my list is The Atlas Six. Basically, six... Is to do, it's got magicians and six are like trained up but only five can win and there's a secret society i know i'm not explaining what these are about so well i didn't want to like spend ages reading the blurb but as you can see there's a lot of um i was gonna say there's a lot of fantasy but actually no it's like a mix of like fantasy and romance at this point next book on my list is the thursday murder club by richard osman i like most Brits know him from Pointless. It's nice that he's back on it now. It was both nice and weird that there was like different co-presenters with Alexander Armstrong. Anyway, Thursday Murder Club, first book in the series. I picked this up because it is literally only murders in the building vibes for old people, which basically only murders in the building is apart from Mabel, aka Selena Gomez. And it's literally like a live murder investigation with old people and it sounds so fun cozy vibes and i just again it was it was the only murders in the building thing that's why i picked it up but i know that a lot of people do enjoy it and i know that his is it the last devil to die or something was in the goodreads like section 
the like it was one of the nominees for their category anyway next book on my list is icebreaker i also own wildfire i love how it took me a moment to realize what that was called um this is a hockey romance or like so the main male character is a hockey player and main female character is a figure skater or like she's a skater i can't remember which one could just read the blurb but you know and basically the ice skaters their rink is not working for whatever reason and so they have to share a rink and obviously there's like clash and obviously romance just happens i know that there's like a little bit of spice and that so many people loved it and yeah like i said this is basically a mixture between romance and fantasy apart from the like one crime that's on there anyway the next book on my list is belladonna i first came across this from rachel um she talked about fox glove which is the second book in the series also this is really hard to read the purple on the black i will say this the first couple of sentences of this reminds me of a series of unfortunate events with like count olaf because it's like she's been raised by a string of guardians each more interested in her wealth and then she goes to these like mysterious relatives of hers and there's like spirits and she's trying to stop something happening i know i don't explain stuff properly then the next book is the house house we grew up in by lisa jewel i have read the family upstairs i know it's a duology i put the second book of that which is the family remains on my christmas list because i didn't realize it was duology because i think at the time only the first book could come out and i'm really excited to see how their story continues is all i'm gonna say anyway this is gonna be like dual timeline probably multiple points of views and basically they leave this house and something draws them back and it's exploring what happened back then and the current timeline and like them like and like what calls them back basically it doesn't say what calls them back i will like to point out and then the 24th book on this list is the maidens by alex michaelides or michaelides i don't know how to pronounce his surname sorry um he is the author of the silent patient this was the last addition to this list because the fact that so the book that I'd accidentally duplicated was actually Shatter Me and it wasn't like I'd put it in the middle and then at the end I'd literally put it like a few lines apart which yeah I know anyway this is another it's again to do with another like society like it's exclusive society like there's a professor and one of the members of this society is murdered and there's a therapist who comes back to the campus like finding the killer and trying to stop them i enjoyed this is a fairly short book well i say that it's like 350 pages so not quite sure but yeah i figured i enjoyed his first book i saw this at 66 books and it was like i've heard about this book i liked his first book i didn't see the twist coming for silent patient i know that some people did i didn't probably should have if I was to reread it, I probably would notice that. That was the final book on this list of 24 reads for 2024. And just know that there is 24 because I had counted on this list. Do I need to recount? There is 24, I've recounted. There is definitely 24. It's like that same sort of like, you know, you lock the door, but then you like to dialogue the door. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what books you are wanting to read this year this month let me know if you've read any of the other books and let me know what you think of them um because i know that we all have different book tastes so it would be really interesting to like see what we all enjoy what we don't enjoy the aspects um so yeah again i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys